Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, just wanted to get a shot of this signal. It's a spring switch signal here at the uh, south end of Duke. That's what that SS stands for, spring switch. I got another one down there. And the signal is green because uh, CSX E76024 is coming northbound. And they're going to be meeting Q697, who is parked out of sight on the siding southbound. So we're going to, this will be the first little part of it, getting the signal here at the south end of Duke. We're going to walk down a little bit and catch uh, E760. All right, ladies and gentlemen, till E760 arrives. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another little quick edit into this video. Get a load of the rail here on the, uh, this is on the siding here at Duke. Right there. 1939. Old rail folks. I right. still waiting on N760. Nope, nope, nope. E760. It's an empty call run. E760. Hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. As promised, coming northbound is going to be empty coal run. The E760 24. I'll have to stop down there at the north end and reset the switch from siding to main back to main to main. Yeah, this is the Duke siding. Caught one up here before. Caught 696 one time coming by here. But today, this uh, empty coal run N760-24 is going to be meeting uh, Q69724, and they're just out of sight. They stopped a little short of the trees down there as not to block a private crossing. But the Duke siding right here is the only siding on the Charlotte sub that hasn't been upgraded. And it's still doing the manual spring switch deal that it's been doing for... 40 some, odd, 40 some odd years that I remember. So the, the Duke siding on both the north and south end. They, it's a manual switch to line in going into the siding and then resetting it back to the main. But coming out of the siding, there's a spring there. You don't have to stop. You can just pull right out of the siding. That's basically what a spring switch does. Resets the uh, switch main to main without anybody having to get out and operate it. Now, once upon a time, back in the SAL days, this siding and Cherryville were the only passing sidings on the Charlotte sub between Monroe and Boston. And they merged right after, right during the time that. Seaboard Airline and Atlantic Coastline merged. Uh, Seaboard ended up picking up the old P&N. And they could have used the P&N as a siding. Uh, they didn't, I don't think they had the crossover there on the east side of Mount Holly like they uh, do now, but uh, they did have the connection there you know, right on the east side of, of downtown Mount Holly. So they may have and could have used that as a siding after, say, about 1967, 68, whenever they bought the P&E in 69, something like that. 
and it remained that way up to the 80s. We got the Shelby put, put together the Shelby siding. If I'm not mistaken, that siding was uh, made about the early 80s when Southern Railway started abandoning segments of their SB line. And the Shelby siding is, at least to some part, where the SB line and the uh, Seaboard Coastline Charlotte sub ran parallel. Then, up, fast forward up to the 90s, uh, CSX built a, a siding just on the other side of Belvedere. Belvedere Road, or whatever that little road's called, going, uh, paralleling the Brookshire Freeway. At first, they used to call that siding Tryon back when the days when they were using blocks to control the traffic, but when they switched to the track authorities or PC1, started calling that siding Freedom. And all about the same time, they built a crossover east of Mount Holly that crossed over a portion of the old PNN SFE line to the main line and called that the Mount Holly siding. So now they've got what Freedom. Mount Holly, Cherry Bowl, and Duke, and Shelby. So they got five sidings between, uh... Oh, they're getting track on. Somebody released. And this train will soon release as it ends clearing the south end switch down there. Never have, I've, caught, I've seen a meet at the Duke side several times back in the day. Never canned one. Never was really expecting to cam one. Not as much traffic nowadays as there used to be. And their preference is to use the Cherryville and Mount Holly sidings, or even the Shelby sidings, because the switches on those sidings are remotely controlled. You don't have to get out of the engine and reset the switch at all. The, the Mount Freedom, Mount Holly, and Cherry Bowl's controlled by the dispatcher. And in the Shelby, the engineer will tone the switch to get it to move a certain way. All righty. As E760-24 creeps down the main line, they'll release the track inevitably, and we'll get to see Q697-24 coming out of the siding. with the 1939 rails. <laughs> I got about 20 more cars. All right, we'll uh, pause it here until uh, 697 gets their EC1 and gets on the move. All right. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Q697-24 has got an EC1 southbound siding to Maine out of Duke up to the uh, north end of Cherryville. They'll be meeting S696 at Cherryville. Everything being equal, I might be able to snag them. I gotta stop and get some gas though. That will kill me. UP power on this thing running second and third. They're having problems with them in Charlotte, though. That's why they ended up getting this engine off uh, F793. Y'all have a safe trip. Seven six isn't online. Maybe that was the one they were having problems with. Oh, 
freshen it up a little bit going on that switch. Shelby's got jointed rail on the siding, not jointed, welded rail on the siding, so does Cherryville, so does Freedom, uh, but not Duke, so does Mount Ollie, I think, I don't know, they might have welded rail on both of them, portion of the side. I'll double check that and get back to you on that. I'll get a good view of that spring switch re uh, reset and we'll see. joint I've ever seen.
I won't be able to keep it steady enough. So let's just watch them go on to the main. Off the side. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. This video uh, be in, in our E760-24 meets Q69724 at Duke. Alright, on our way to Cherryville.